Let's grab that. I can't see any oxygen anywhere. No. Darn. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the next episode of Astroneer with me, Biffa. In the last episode, we took a look at the augment tool, which I believe I've tucked away over here. If you didn't see that, go back and check it out. The terrain analyzer, which we could add to our, our deform tool here. That was really good fun. Today, we need to go and find a lot more research. We're, we're struggling to find research on the surface. Now, there's no trees around here, <laughs> as far as the eye can see. And the normal sort of things that research may appear in, they don't appear in anymore. You know, there's big sort of spires. Where are we going? It's over here somewhere, this cave. I saw it. I saw it. It was down here. It's like disappeared. If I like walk straight past it again, I bet it's over here. Here it is. We're here. Right. Okay. It's a bit dark. It's hard to see. Let's get another one of these up here. There we go. And then we're going to head down here into this cave and hopefully come back with a load of research. That's that's the uh, that's my hope. Let's grab some of this just so we can go a little bit further if we need to. Ha ha. Here we go. This will be good. Because we don't have the truck yet. The way the research and stuff is set up now, you don't instantly have access to a printer, to the truck, and to all the stuff that you would have done before. So you do have to actually go searching. Oh, look, that's where it went. It fell through the ground. <laughs> I put something in a hole and it fell through the ground. Let's grab some more of this so we can make plenty of tethers. We're going to tether our way down. We're also testing... Aha, no power. I don't have batteries yet. We're also testing... The way the FPS goes as well, because there's been a lot of changes to the way that is supposed to be in the game, for the better, hopefully. So, let's see. Let's have a quick run. Come on in. Let's run down here. I would like to see the ability to add things to geothermal vents. That would be cool. Mm, nothing stands out. Let's have a quick look under here. Is there research under these things still? Doesn't look like it. Nothing was... Oh, it's like disappearing down a hole. <laughs> I've dug the hole too deep. Nothing was grabbable there. Normally, once you start digging those things, the research underneath is instantly grabbable. Let's head further down the hole. Let's go down here. There's another one over there. We'll do another little test. Okay, there we go. Let's put that... Again, getting confused by the blue line from me. <laughs> and... Apparently you can place these in mid-air. I haven't been able to do that yet. So let's head up here a bit. And see if there's any research under here. So yeah, not having access to the printer and things like that when you first start. Oh, okay, we've run out of tethers. So we can make the terrain analyzer. That's been added to our list. Organic, not interested in that. Actually, oh, I'll keep it just in case. Just in case. Can I attach to those down here? I can. There we go. Right, let's see if there's anything under here. Let's dig it a bit more carefully this time. Yeah, there's no research under there, is there? Look. These normally had research all over them. No power at all. Oh, darn it. It must be night time. Let's grab some of this while we can. Man, research is really hard to find. Definitely we've dug all the way around that. And there's nothing there, is there? Oh, a bit more power. Let's grab that. Spend power to get power. Nope. Definitely nothing on that. Um, Should we go along this little arm here? Just in case there's anything this way that's worth checking out. Before we head down to the... Down to the depths. Hello there. Okay, what have we got here? I don't want to get lost and find... I'm going to grab some of this power here. Let's grab some of this. Be careful not to blow this thing up. Oh! Look! Research! Finally! Oh my goodness! So there's research under those green things as opposed to every single plant. Well, there we go. There's something new. Maybe we'll just leave that... Should we leave that here? I know that's below my base, and I know I'm going to come back this way. Let's leave that there. Oh, man. Excellent. Let's have a sip of space tea as we're running along here. Oh. Did you see that drop out? Oh, is that me What I was digging up? The power? Yeah, I've got so much power. Let's pop that back on there, although that is really not needed. So there's hydrazine. 
Let's see whether this plant has research underneath. No. Nothing under that one. Okay. So, is there any un... Whoa! Ah, oh, no! Darn it! Is that storm coming this way? No, it's just leaving. Darn! I'll tell you what I'm going to do is... Oh, we don't have any space on the back of there. Can I fit these onto here? I want to fit these on here somewhere without losing any more stuff through a hole. Let's... Let's drop these here. There's no point taking those underground, is it? We could put that in there, actually, and keep some of this on here. I know there's another chair if we need it. Hopefully it won't disappear through the ground. I'm going to leave it on there. Let's see what happens. Let's go and find where we were. And we've got that extra bit of research as well we can bring back. Darn. I wasn't that close to that thing, really, was I? I didn't think so, anyway. Can we slide down? No. Maybe let's not try and die on the way down. Oh, let's bring back. Should we find our body? Oh, this is floating away. Let's put that there. Let's find our body first, just so we can get all our stuff back. I'm assuming... Yeah, there we go. It's down here. Oh, so you have to be careful digging those out. I didn't actually think I was that close, but maybe I was closer than I thought. There we go. So let's have all of this. And let's bury ourselves. Oh, let's, let's close that first. There we go. Let's bury ourselves. Goodbye, Biffa. No, no. Goodbye, Biffa. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's flatten this over the top. He was a good spaceman. Okay, so we're getting two of these. Right, this is going to be a good test. Can I not pick that thing up? No, let's dig it out. Whoa. So that's two. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to pick up that. Okay, that's going to help us. We're going to stick that on our base. So this is two of the same research. So previously, if you had two of the same research, the first one would give you some sort of random research. So, you know, items for your printer or stuff like that. The second one would give you... Um, can I see if we can take both of these back at once? Can we juggle them? The second one would give you... Nope, don't want to open that. A resource of some description. Do you know what? It might be quicker just to take one. <laughs> I've lost the knack. It's harder to do in tunnels doing this. Let's get them out to the surface and then I know I can just run back and grab them. There we go. We'll leave that one there. It's not going to roll away. Yeah, you'd get some sort of random resource. Um, So let's see how that works now. Whether that's the same. If I put that there and use my tool. Yeah, I can grab them both. Here we go. Let's take these over. So we've got plenty of power on us as well to help with the research. Let's pop this one on. And press the button. There we go. So what's this going to give us? Printer, 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 printer. I need batteries and stuff. Shuttle. Okay, so we've got the shuttle that we can make. Uh, we don't actually have the ability to make the thing that prints the shuttle. So... That's interesting that you get that first. Maybe that's a little adjustment that needs to be made. And we've got some compound. Okay, nice. So that still sort of works like it did before. Um, I'm just wondering whether... If we chuck the resin in there, stick that in there. Take this compound with us for making more tethers. Yeah, see how we go. Okay, let's see if we can find some more research down here. Well, that's interesting. That's three of those plants in a row, and they've all given me the same red research. So I'm assuming now, if I take these up to the surface, I'm only going to get resources out of those. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Let's grab this back. Um, I'm wondering whether just to head a bit deeper. We've got hydrogen up here. Over this way, we've got some 
what is it? Let's go and have a look. We've got some other stuff. <laughs> Iron or something like that. More hydrazine. Did I come this way before? Yeah, there's a hole in the ground. There's nothing under those plants. Oh, there's some of those spitting things. Let's run away from that. <laughs> Don't want to get gassed. Okay, that should be okay. Let's run back. Yeah. Let's get rid of these. Yes, yeah, so we've got latter right there. Okay, these guys haven't got any research under them. Whoa, whoa. And I've got some malachite. There must have been another one there that I'd missed. My oxygen is going down. Um, and now I'm completely lost. Nice! Quick, let's look for oxygen. Yeah, this isn't the way to come, and I'm about to die. Oh, darn it. Oh, there's some nice research. Let's grab that. I can't see any oxygen anywhere. Let's get a tether out in case it hooks up. No. Darn. My second death. That is not good. Oh, I wasn't that far. We're back down the bottom here. And I believe that is the tether that I placed down just before I died. Let's go and have a look. I can't actually place any more tethers. Yes, it is. Look, there we go. So if we get that one and stick this over here, this should connect up. Come on. Hello? You are unable to connect. To <laughs> What's going on there? Let's let's take this one. Can I pick this tether up, please? Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think tethers stretch as far as they used to. Let's go and grab our stuff and see if we can find that yellow. Here we go. That yellow research. And we'll definitely take that back. Okay, Biffa number two. There we go. Let's cover him up. He didn't last as long as the first one. Okay, so before I do that, I want to make some more tethers because I do not want to die again. And I seem to be doing a good job of that, don't I? So let's get a few more going down here. Come on, don't start complaining. Yeah, these don't reach us. I'm sure these don't reach as far. It might just be in my mind that I'm hoping that they'll reach further, but they don't. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's so around here somewhere. Okay, that should be enough. Just round there it is. Excellent. So that's one there. Let's let's take that. So we've got a few reds. We've got a yellow. Let's just see if there's anything underneath this at all. So if not, no, it doesn't want to fall. No. Nope. Every single one of those that we've tried to dig out underneath, there is not any research. Right, I'm gonna take this one back. And one more red. We're gonna do another. Another research. We're going to research the research and see whether the reds now are always going to give me resources and never anything else. Okay, here we go. So let's do the red one first. Let's see whether that's going to give us another resource. If so, then we know to avoid digging underneath those gassy tool plants. Yes, it does. Okay, because they will always give us red. Well, they have done four times now, so... Let's see what this one gives us. So we've got a shuttle. We've got no means to make it. We've got the stuff that we can make batteries with and all sorts like that. I mean, batteries would be good if I could make some small batteries. What are we going to get? The trade platform. Ah, oh, okay. I've never really sort of used that. But it may be that I do now have to use it because... Then again, there's no, I can't trade for... I can't trade for blueprints, and blueprints is what I need. So, let's leave the hydrazine here. We'll collect that as we go. We just need to keep hunting for more research. We are suddenly very deep down now. I've just dug straight down. Yep. And we found ourselves a cave. Let's see if we can find any interesting looking things in here. What is this? Let's light this up with some, some of these. Now this is different. I've not seen this before. This is obviously some bones of something. 
Let's see what's under here. This is like almost the complete back end skeleton of a I don't know what. That is weird. I've not seen that before. Now, we've got these guys over here. Now, these are the nasty ones that we always want to sort of keep away from with the spikes. Let's see whether these guys have got research underneath. I'm putting tethers in for lighting as well so you guys can see. Let's have a look. Okay, nothing under there. Nothing under there. So we've got some seeds that we can take. But other than that, no, no research under those guys. Okay, and then we've got some of these small ones here, which are going to explode in gas. Let's run away. I think even these small ones have that red research underneath. Yes, they do. Oh, hang on a sec. This one's got a green. Is that green? Let's... Yes, it is. Let's get a bit closer. The gas has gone. Right, well, they've got red and green. So we've, we have found... Oh, wait, come back. Oh, actually, we'll leave them in that hole. We have found a green research underneath one of those. So that slightly changed the theory that I had. Right, let's head out this way and see what we can see. Okay, more of these guys. Oh, and a spaceship. With a flashing light and some more malachite. Interesting. Can I interact with that flashing light at all? I can't. Is there going to be anything inside this? Yeah, I'm going to struggle for oxygen. Let's grab some of this over here before I totally dig this out and die. Oh, yeah. I want to make sure I head back the right way as well. <laughs> Please don't let me get lost. Please don't let me get lost. I want to head back. I'm going to put a tether the way I need to go. There we go. Let's have a dig around here. See what we can find. So this has got some sort of solar panel on it as well. I don't know whether that would be any use for anything, but maybe, maybe. Oh, I didn't notice, but there's another another astroneer. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. I'll have that. I'll have that. I'll have that. Now those are good. Definitely. I've wanted those. Yep, yep, and yep. Ah, oh, we have no room for that. Let's put our last tether down over there to help us with the digging. And then we can take that. Yep. Excellent. That's the lot. And then we'll say, thank you. And we'll bury you down here. That's it. Well done. <laughs> I'll carry on trying to see what's in this thing. It almost looks like you can hook up to this. I don't think you can. And I'm not sure that there is anything else in here. Nope, there's nothing hidden inside. And I know some of you eagle-eyed viewers out there will know exactly which spacecraft this is. So let me know in the comments below. I would be interested to hear. There's more malachite. Is that some research there just lying on the surface? Look at that. It is. We've been looking everywhere for this stuff. Wow, is that an underground storm? No way. Is that going to affect me here? Is it because we're... I mean, we're not that close to the surface. No, I don't think it's going to affect me here. Okay, that's weird. Well, anyway, let's take this back. It's getting pretty bad, although it doesn't seem to be affecting my walking or anything. So, nope. That's fine. Let's. I'm going to take this back. I'm going to grab that other new one that we had, and we're going to see what research we get out of these ones. Here we go. Let's try this one first. See what this is. I hope it's something that can help us progress a bit because we're sort of stuck until we get the printer or the vehicle the vehicle bay thing ss three seats okay so i'm assuming that's spaceship three seats now that wasn't a research option before that was just something that you got so interesting that that's been added to research let's have a quick sip of tea what are we going to get out of this one here we go spaceship excellent so something else that we can't make yet <laughs> let's put some items let's put some items in our hole and hope they stay in there uh, lithium can go in there we'll keep the power 
Now, I'm wondering whether there's anything else on the surface that we could perhaps run and find. Which way have we not been? We haven't been this way. So maybe, what have we got here? We've got some power. We don't need to take that with us, do we? Let's hook up. Let's drop the power in there. Oh, dynamite. Now, that is something we are going to store over here, out of the way. Actually, we could pin that on here. Let's just change my mind on that. I'm going to put the hydrazine down the hole, and I'm going to put the dynamite on there. Yes, yeah, so and when it's stored, it doesn't have the little clicky thing, so yeah, it's not going to cause any problems. Let's maybe head out in this direction. We haven't been this way before, have we? And see what we can find out here. We'll go tethers as far as we can, and then we'll, we'll have a little run. And see what there is to spy. And I'm hoping there's going to be... Oh, there's some nice... Uh, yeah. Nice. Oh, 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 let's grab some of this. Still got the 360 degree spinning. <laughs> I thought that had been fixed a long time ago. But obviously not. We haven't had it as much. We've had it like once. In two episodes. That's probably an hour or so of play for me. How are we doing? Oh, that's plenty. There's the, there's the things I forgot. Here we go. These guys should have some research under them. Let's see if we can get rid of these before they cause any problems. And that guy as well. Excellent. Let's see what they've got underneath them. So another red one. Just the one by the look of it. Oh, another red one and another red one. Okay. So it's seeming like these red ones are easy to find. These are probably going to float off anyway, because I'm not going to carry them all back. I'm going to head into this cave here. Let's get my tethers hooked up again. It seems to me that unless you get a good start with a load... I mean, even saying get a load of trees or something. This is, looks a bit different, this colour. Um, wouldn't be helpful, because you don't get as much under all the trees and stuff as you used to as well. So, you know... It is definitely harder. It's definitely harder. Okay, we've got some malachite. I'm going to keep on going. Okay, we have another spaceship here. Let's make this thing float. Everything seems quite floaty in this update as well. Things that are left loose tend to float away. It'll be interesting to see how that affects. Here we go. Cars and trucks and stuff when we get those. So aluminium, copper. What else have we got around here? Copper, copper. Backpack is full. What can we get rid of? Hydrazine. Let's get rid of that. There's going to be more stuff around here. Yep, there is. What's that there? Oh, some more compound. Eh, we don't really need more compound, do we? We've got plenty of compound. Oh, now that'll be good. Let's get rid of that and take this. Thinking for later on. There we go. Excellent. No research hidden around here, though. Still, the hunt for research continues. Well, I have to say, the game has definitely got harder. Now, some may say, some may say that the game is grindier. I read, I read what people say, uh, particularly on the Discord as well. There's a lot of guys and girls testing the game out there. And it may seem grindier because, I mean, we're... Oh, I need to cut across this way, don't I? I'm going the long way round. Let's go this way. We're walking and talking. Now, we're all used to basically loading up Astroneer. And how quickly, let's be honest now, this you could leave another comment with this. How quickly would you basically have everything in the game? Uh, if you were sat down and playing a game of Astroneer, it would probably take you, what, less than an hour? Maybe, if you were lucky, you would run around, you'd get a load of research, and then... <laughs> I'm trying to time this so I can run and do both at once. 
<laughs> I used to be able to do that. Oh, and I've lost the knack. Now, now I'm trying to do it. I'm going slower than when I wasn't trying. Let's just carry on what I was doing. So you'd run around. You'd just grab all the research. There'd be like five per tree. They'd be underground all over the place. They would just be everywhere. Research was not something that you had to spend a long time looking for, was it? Let's be honest. So you would have all the items researched within a very short period of time then what would be next you'd fill up your truck um and you'd, you'd fill up i mean you'd make a truck you'd fill it up with um resources then you'd go and build three more trucks four more trucks five more trucks hook them up you'd go off you'd have all the resources you wanted i mean by a couple of hours of play you've conquered the game haven't you because you can then make a spaceship you're off to another planet um, okay, there's difficulties on other planets with the terrain or difficulties with the the flora and the fauna that's there or maybe You know those spiky balls of death that come out of nowhere But generally speaking you would not need any more resources You could just fly back home get some more you you would just be set for the game wouldn't you? Now it's actually making me go and Look around. Okay. Thank you. I will take that now it's actually making me go and look around and find stuff and check out the caves and go further. And I'm having to do it without a truck, which at first it's making me sort of twitch a bit. I've got, you know, my eyes twitching because I'm thinking I really just want a truck to go over there. But this is an alien planet. Look at it. This is not where we should be. Oh, what's this? Just like a set of filters. Really? So if I just... Stick that on there. Oh, okay. It's literally... Oh, well, that's new. That is something we didn't get before. We didn't get given those. Am I able to research that now? No, I'm not. I can make another terrain analyzer. Let's do that because we can add that. There we go. To here. We've already analyzed the blue terrain last time. What is going on in my phone? I said, okay... I don't even have to say OK Google and my phone kicks in. Now I've actually said that, my phone's going to kick in. We analysed the blue terrain. There was some lovely coloured green terrain under here. So I've got the augmenter on, haven't I? Yeah, I've got the filter. I've got all sorts of other stuff I don't need to carry around with me. Can't even store it yet. Good grief. So if we run down here with our terrain analyzer. Here we go. We can now bring this green terrain. Woohoo! back up to the surface with us so let's give that a go let's not slide off the edge here so let's double check yeah our terrain analyzer is there it's empty the black bit at the top is empty let's just dig into here there we go and you can see if i zoom in a bit that black bit at the top is filling up on the top of that augment there we go it made a sound when it was done so if we have a look at this we can see the black bit on the top is now green so if we run back up to the surface we can now start painting with different colours. Now, the other augment that I would like, I believe there is one that changes how wide your deformation tool works, your deforming of the land. Um, it changes how wide it goes and also how you interact with the land. So, for instance, if I wanted to take this stuff out of here now... I would start digging away at the land, wouldn't I? But apparently this other tool helps you to dig stuff out of the land without ruining what the land looks like. Let's give this a test. So now we have two of these. Let's grab this one off there. So it's going to prioritise the one that's the top. There we go. So now it's prioritising that one, the blue one. Now it's prioritising the green one. So if we go over here, we can now start painting with... Uh, let's do the flattened one. So we can basically just colour this green can't we that is good i'm liking that uh actually if you want to flatten that out let's go from there okay it's still working with the normal how you would expect terrain to work so this is higher if i try to flatten from there it won't color it what do we mean i have no power oh we have no power it's night time but i like that so now i've got these two stored let's open that I can easily switch those around, and now I can, if I want to, paint that back to blue again. Yeah. Well, it would do if I had some power. <laughs> Let's try that. There we go. Paint it back to blue again. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to have to store those. I'm hoping all this stuff doesn't fall through the ground. I'll be really annoyed if it does. 
Um, because I don't necessarily want to carry those around with me. I don't know what's going to happen if I die, if I've got those on me. Let's put, let's put the lithium in there. We've got loads of that. There we go. And we can see the colours on there. Nice. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. That's looking really cool. Well, guys, please leave a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Hit the big B with the tea stain on. Oh, look. <gasps> we've got the thing. We've interacted with that space station ship down there. And we've got this thing. You can barely see it because it's so dark. I'm trying to move around to get it. Let's get one of these here. There we go. Oh, we've got the mini game. Oh, wow. What is this going to do? Well, I'm going to have a look and find out for the next episode. Hit the big B with a tea stain to subscribe. We'll be back tomorrow with the next episode of Astroneer. Looking at the new update, trying out the new stuff. Hopefully getting enough research to get a printer. That would be nice, wouldn't it? If you know what to do with this, let me know in the comments below as well. And I will see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.